Putin unveils unstoppable hypersonic weapon, proof Hillary made millions arming him. Vladimir Putin unveiled a hypersonic weapon which includes new technology that the United States Department of Defense has been working on for years. This weapon is scary and described as unstoppable by defense industry insiders who are shocked that Putin had this technology. Well, while Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State and Barack Obama was POTUS, a dirty treasonous deal for the technology happened, and now we have the proof that every American needs to see. Back in September 2016, the Washington Examiner broke a story titled, Emails Show Clinton Ties to Russian Oligarch Under Investigation. No one knew then that in March 2018 Vladimir Putin would brag about having the hypersonic technology to weaponize missiles, technology that Hillary sold to him. The United States is vulnerable to future attack by hypersonic missiles from China and Russia and is falling behind in the technology race to develop both defensive and offensive high-speed maneuvering arms, according to a new Air Force study, reports the U.S. Air Force. Now. We know that those emails prove Hillary sold American hypersonic tech to the Russians. The Daily Caller then reported in March 2017, starting in May 2010, the Washington Examiner reported, drawing on the emails obtained by Citizens United, Clinton Foundation staff pushed Hillary Clinton's State Department to approve a meeting between Bill Clinton and a powerful Russian oligarch as her agency lined up investors for a project under his purview. The Daily Caller adds, his name was Viktor Vexelberg of Renova, a Clinton Foundation donor, and the project under his purview was the Skolkovo Innovation Center, which is being built near Moscow. The following month, Bill Clinton would receive $500,000 for a speech in Moscow. Skolkovo Innovation Center is the place where Russia develops its nuclear weapons, and just like Hillary got donations to the Clinton Foundation as a quid pro quo for selling out America's uranium stores in the Uranium One deal, the same thing happened here for the American hypersonic technology going to Skolkovo. Going back to 2016, here's what the Washington Examiner reported, the former presidents, Bill Clinton, travel to Russia for the speech and potential meetings with Vexelberg and others came as Hillary Clinton's State Department labored to drum up interest in a technology-sharing project, led by Vexelberg, called Skolkovo. Held as the Russian version of Silicon Valley, Skolkovo was conceived during President Obama's Russia reset as a way to attract investors to Moscow-based technology startups. Obama and Hillary were desperate to please Putin. They needed him to sign off on Obama's big legacy item, the Iranian nuke deal. This shocking set of emails that the Washington Examiner reported on shows the nexus of Bill and Hillary Clinton's foundation, Hillary Clinton's State Department, Bill Clinton, Russian oligarch Vexelberg, and Skolkovo, Russia's Silicon Valley, the Putin project to transfer Western technology to Russia that was championed and driven by Mrs. Clinton, and, what do you know? 17 out of 28 tech companies that hitched up with Skolkovo also contributed millions to the Clinton Foundation. What were those companies paying the Clinton Foundation for that hitched up with Skolkovo? All evidence points to the hypersonic technology. According to a U.S. Army report, although military activities are not an official cluster of activity, the Skolkovo Foundation has, in fact, been involved in defense-related activities since December 2011, when it approved the first weapons-related project, the development of a hypersonic cruise missile engine. Other damning information to consider Hillary Clinton's staff destroyed Russian emails sought by investigators and subsequently misrepresented their efforts to turn over documents. Four days after Hillary Clinton met with then-Russian President Dmitry Medvedev in March 2010, Medvedev announced that Vexelberg would head up the Skolkovo project. Just one day after Hillary Clinton had a private phone call with John Chambers, CEO of Cisco, Medvedev met with Cisco executives in California. That same day, Vexelberg announced that Cisco and Boeing would invest in Skolkovo. The Clintons' relationship to Vexelberg continued throughout Hillary Clinton's time at the State Department. Of course, this all happened under former President Barack Obama, and these are treasonous activities. Former Secret Service agent and Fox News contributor Dan Bongina reported on his Friday, 
March 2nd radio show that while at PAC he spoke with a famous investigative journalist off the record about Hillary's connection with Skolkovo and the hypersonic weapon Putin just unveiled. Bongino, referring to the breaking story that Skolkovo allegedly got hypersonic technology from Hillary, asked the journalist, so is this going to be a big deal? Bongino said the journalist just smiled and said, you have no idea. Bongino and the investigative journalist are both looking ahead to Representative Devin Nunes' push to get a special counsel appointed to finally investigate all the crimes and treasonous deals that went on under former President Barack Obama. We can't wait for A.G. Jeff Sessions who won't commit to assigning prosecutorial powers when it comes to the entire cabal of deep staters who carried out the FISA abuse and tried to frame President Donald Trump. It's going to take Americans demanding a special counsel. We have the all the evidence we need, and it's time to impanel a grand jury and indict every swamp rat involved in selling America out to Russia and every other foreign power around the world. The world.